Dearly beloved, I was made for this. Yeah. What's up, dude? Welcome to today's video. As you can see, I'm here at the gym. And waiting on Victor like always. I didn't know if he's coming, but I figured I'd take this opportunity to catch you guys up on what's been going on. So it's been about a little over two weeks, I think, since our last video, which was our Q&A. Thank you guys for watching. Pretty sick video, which is sucked making. But, um, Shortly after that video, I think it was like the next day or day after, I actually hurt my back. Um, and then I heard from deadlifting, working out, I was fucking making breakfast one morning and I sneezed and snapped some shit up in my back. I don't know what happened. Anyways, snapped up my back, uh, so I couldn't work out for, I didn't work out for like almost two weeks. And then towards the end, my back started feeling better, then I got sick as fuck. Um, didn't eat or drink anything for like three days, like just kept throwing everything up. All that good stuff. And Victor's on call and shit too, and then Nick was working like always. So that's why I uh, didn't upload a video. Sorry for that. But back now, started working out a few days ago and feeling good. Back's not giving me no issues. All fine and dandy. And it's pretty exciting news. Well, I think it's exciting, exciting for me is I started a. I started a um, workout program. Um, I am doing, it is the Power Building 2.0 program from Kaizen Training. You guys might have heard of them. It's um, Silent Mike, uh, Bart Kwan, and Omar. Uh, I don't know how to say his last name. I've never been on an actual program before, so I just wanted to switch it up, have some structure instead of just coming in and yellowing the gym every day, just doing whatever I feel like. I say it's my fifth day on the program. First week, fifth day. It is a five day program. But I'm used to going to the gym like six days a week. So I am going to make it a six day program. The six day is just going to be like some cardio. Yeah, I know. A um, little bit of cardio, nothing crazy. And then like some smaller muscle groups I neglect, like my traps. Oh shit. Traps, rear delts, um, calves, probably some abs. Because uh, you start training the abs. But I'm really excited for it. You guys be on this journey along with me. See all the gains I make. So it's a power building program, so it's not strictly powerlifting, it's not strictly power building. I mean, bodybuilding, it's like a mixture of the two. That's pretty much it. Just a quick little update for you guys. I got new goals I want to reach. I got, so I want to work towards a 600 deadlift, a 500 squat, and I'm still chasing that 315 bench. Wait, no, Victor. I'm about to start without him. I don't know where he's at. Sick dude. Yeah, this candy I got, it's not not that great. It's all right. Like, thought it'd be better, but I give it a six out of ten. Smell like ass. Who need bread? Smell like ass. So, like I said, doing a my push <laughs> the upper. Like yeah, my upper hyper day. So first workout I got yeah dumbbell flat bench and super seven plus new cable roll. Three sets of 12, an RP of eight. Uh, if you guys don't know, RP stands for rated perceived, rated perceived exertion, rated perceived exertion, something like that. I know what you're supposed to do with. Basically, it's just like, oh, yeah. you know, um, how hard the group was for you, like your perception of it. So RP of eight, the scale from like one to 10. So RP eight means like, I couldn't, you could have got like this good solid two more reps. So like nine to be, it was tough, but you had one more, one more rep in the tank of shirt. Ten's like max, like you had, that was it, that's the most. Seven, you know, you had three reps left, so on, so on. So I've probably done dumbbell flat bench like twice in like the last two years. So it's like kind of weird for me. So I'm going with 30 cross my first day. See how it goes. It's 
All right, so I finished up my first um, superset. Might have overshot the flat dumbbell press, more of like a eight and a half to nine. I'm sure I had one more, maybe two, but it's all good. We got all the reps done. Now second movement, exercise, superset. You know, all the workouts there, supersets. It's gonna be incline dumbbell press, superset with a chest supported row. Now I'm choosing just to do the incline um, row. But if you do like any chest supported row, if it's a high row or just like the regular machine, it's any chest supported row. So that's the second movement, uh, same thing, three sets, 12 reps, an RP of eight. Finished up the exercise. I ain't gonna lie, man, I'm pretty tapped. So that's what I was saying. I want to start doing cardio. I need to start doing cardio. Just, just to build my endurance. Like my endurance is like pure trash, like garbage, like like trash trash. So like, especially with this program, I'm gonna do a lot of volume. Even especially like compound lifts, like poly stuff. Like I'm gonna be doing like six, eight, ten sets of like squats, the other stuff like that. I usually only do like four. So I need to get my endurance that way. I gotta make sure I don't feel those lifts just because my body's tired, not because my body's not strong enough, just my body's tapped. So that's why I need to start doing cardio. Uh, so next superset, uh, I got three supersets left for the workout. This next one got uh, lateral raises, superset with French press. We got four sets, uh, 15 reps uh, at RB8 again. So, knock this out. Got two more for that. I'm gonna go eat. I'm fucking hungry. But man, I'm really tired, man. Alright, let's knock this out. So French press, basically a buffet, tricep, either dumbbell or barbell. Do another cable. Remember, anything above head is gonna work the long head of the tricep, which is the biggest head of the tricep. So if you want big arms, hit them triceps, especially above head. And I lost count. I think that was 15. All right, next workout is gonna be dumbbell upright row. Super set with uh, chest-up push-downs, three sets. 15 reps, I believe, if I double check. RPE at uh, seven and a half. Uh, I haven't done dumbbell upright rows before. I've done just like barbell upright rows. So I'll go with 25s, see how it feels. Something kind of a good move for me. Got this, one more super set knockout. I'm out here, so I gotta get this done real quick. Oh, 
Sorry, I'm in here. Last exercise, it's actually a, it's a tricep. So I got face pulls, dumbbell curls, and push ups. Then we total of four sets. All at an RP of eight. Face pulls doing 30 reps. Dumbbell curls 12. And then push ups just until I get an RP of eight. So until I get like two short of failure basically. Uh, four sets, a lot. But I finally knocked this out, so I'm gonna eat some food because your boy's hungry. Finished up with the workout. The boy's dying, but now we're gonna go get some food. All right, so I'm gonna wrap up the video right here. But, but real quick before I do, shout out to the guys at Kane's. Um, they liked my car, so they apparently hooked it up with some extra food. Uh, I didn't get you guys' names, but if by some miracle you guys do happen to be watching this, shout out to you guys. And if you guys drink Arrowhead, you're nasty. This, this is how you drink Arrowhead. Straight to the trash. But thank you guys for watching. I know it was a short video. I just wanted to get something up real quick because we haven't uploaded in like two weeks. But hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Um, comment below. Comment below if you had the Popeyes chicken sandwich. I can't imagine it being better than Chick fil A. Like, Chick fil A is like the pinnacle. I can't picture something being better than Chick fil A. So comment down below if you had it and if it really is all about the hype. I didn't get to try it unfortunately and they sold out. But comment, uh, share, subscribe if you haven't already. See you guys in the next one. Peace.